So very regularly, I find myself craving a ballpark style hot dog, but up until recently, I haven't been able to figure out how to make it taste like I bought it from a man who's had it sitting in a warm space for like five hours. So I'm going to teach you how to make the delicious nostalgic taste of a ballpark hot dog. One of the most important things is the hot dog itself. Nathan's makes the best. If you want to get your pan, I'm using a cast iron skillet because I have one. I have seasoned it with oil and butter. So we're going to pop our hot dogs on. I'm just going to let that cook for a while. I like for mine to be like brown, so I let it cook for longer. It's right now it's on like a 4 out of 10, 0 being the lowest. You're going to get oil. Set them like this on your tin foil. When the hot dog's done, we're gonna put it in the bun, then steam the bun. It's gonna be delicious. Since the butter is on the hot dog, it also butters the toast. This is probably gonna take a while to cook it the way I would like it to be cooked, so I'll be back in a minute or seven. Before they are completely done, turn off your heat because we're gonna use the stove in just a minute. Take your hot dog, stick it in the bun. Put this on top like here, press it, roll it. Crunch a little in so the heat doesn't get out. Put oil on the bottom, press it, roll it. Put your hot dogs on them, but you don't want to leave it on there too long or it'll toast the bun. And you don't want a toast bun, you want a soft bun. So I just kind of roll it so it gets it evenly. And since it's not too hot, it's fine. Now it feels like the bun is nice and warm all the way through. If you want to put toppings on it after you open up, it up is the time. So you got your little soft squished bun. It's delicious. I hope this has helped you if you've been craving a ballpark style hot dog but can figure out how to make one or get one when you don't want to buy a ballpark. Until next time, peace, love, and kittens. I'm out.